Okay guys, now we're going to put together the skimmer. So, you always want to make sure you got all your parts. You got your gasket that goes on a little square, gasket that goes on the outside. You have some extra parts you don't need. That goes in that box with the other stuff. These male nipples you don't need. Give that back to the customer okay so you got your door it's got two little grooves in it you just put your door on always put your jet in there so you know where it's at your gasket can really only go on one way five screws on the top five screws on the bottom or hose just line it up let it rest on there you're gonna grab eight of these pan head screws out of this bag. That's what they're gonna look like. They take a number three Phillips head to secure it together. It's very important, you do not over tighten this. It will crack if you do. I use a long number three with an impact set on a number two. So you just, I do a crisscross pattern, kind of like you do any type of flanges. lose these because you don't have extra you'll have to go get more so you'll wait till it smashes out a little bit and then you just stop that's all it needs same thing on these look down here and you'll see where it, where it smashes out a little bit After you have that together, you're going to grab a metal nipple and silicone it. Number two silicone is what we use. And that goes on the bottom. This should just go in until it stops. off your silicone so it looks clean and that's your skimmer all right guys so now we're going to start prepping out for the main drains I always just start with the rings first since I already have the silicone out so you have four gaskets you're only going to need two so what you do is it just take a little bit of silicone to hold the gasket in place that's all its job really is is to hold it in place you don't need a lot just get a little bit all the way around the ring take your gasket it doesn't matter which way it goes this way or that way go around smashing it And I always just give it a little twist to line the hose up, okay? And make sure there's no gap between the gasket and the ring. You will sometimes put a little bit of too much silicone on it. That's fine. You can wipe it off. Or you can leave it on there. That's what your rings are going to look like. 